uh, my take on LA style pizza is my take on Los Angeles. I think LA is a state of mind. I think there's something to waking up every day and going out to a sunny day that opens you to creativity. You know, one of the great things about LA is that it's not boxed into any particular style. It's got this fantastic open-mindedness, very creative mindset here. We're not trying to be New York pizza. We're not trying to be Chicago pizza. We're trying to make a name for ourselves and it's, it's happening. I think that there's a genuine push behind just good people making good pizza. At the end of the day, it's Los Angeles best. I think Los Angeles is as equally good as any other city, pizza city in the world. The pizza scene in LA is just gonna keep growing and growing. My name's Tommy, and I have Lasorda's Pizza in Silver Lake. Michael McSharry, Grow Restaurant. I'm Daniel Didi, and I'm the chef and owner of Pizzana in Los Angeles. I'm a Chef Jorge Sandoval. I'm the executive chef at Brooklyn Avenue Peach Company. I've had Lasorda's. I started on my porch during COVID, and now we've been in the shop now for about a year. I've been in LA probably uh, between five to six years. We opened up in November 19. Perfect time in three months of just kind of welcoming people in and then, uh, you know, unfortunately we had to close the doors again. I come from a long line of uh, chef uh, and pastry chef and bakers, so I was there. Like, uh, any time that I woke up in the morning, there was people working at the dough and, uh, you know, as a kid, what do you want to do? You see people touching the sticky stuff, you want to do, I want to touch the sticky stuff. Growing up, ah, oh, really uh, commercial, so a lot of Pizza Hut, but in my neighborhood, I fell in love with uh, our local pizza spot, Baldwin Park Pizza Company. Well, when I, when I came here, and it was 11, almost 11 years and a half ago, my knowledge of pizza was chain, uh, chain pizza over here, right? So I had uh, every type of slice, and I said, oh my God, if people are used to, it, to eat this, they might not like my pizza. So was I worried? Hell yes. I was scared. I was terrified. Probably about 15 to 20 years ago, I moved to London. I would say probably for the first few years, I was, I was experimenting a lot, trying all different types. And then the first sourdough pizza restaurant opened up in London. For me, that worked so much better with my body. So yeah, I kind of became, uh, I guess, slightly obsessed with the sourdough process. And the more I looked into it, I realized there's actually nutrition in it. When I joined the LA pizza scene, it was when there's all these pop-ups and a lot of chefs have lost their jobs and we're starting these kind of high-end pizza operations. And I was just your normal everyday guy that decided to make pizza because I loved it on my porch. When we opened up Pizzana, we, we just wanted to recreate that Southern Italian feeling, but just using uh, local produce, right? This beautiful farmer's market. There was something good about just having a good cheese pizza, but why not make it with the best ingredients and fill in that part of the hierarchy? Produce in Los Angeles, for me, it's been really, really awesome. Our produce variety out here is really, really fresh. We have a direct relationship with a lot of these farmers. So whether that's the tomatoes, whether it's the vegetables, whether it's the flowers and so on, I think we're in a very fortunate position. The ultimate goal for me was to bring in this universally loved food. And what I was striving to do was bring it in a way that it was fresh, it was healthy, but it was gonna make you feel good. It was still pizza. We're using all organic flour, and we source everything locally, including the cheese. Our process of uh, making pizza here at Brooklyn Avenue is um, concentrating our dough program. I work our uh, dough with the 24-year-old sourdough starter, and uh, we ferment for four days. It's something that separates us from a lot of the pizza companies out here in LA. Uh, a little more bright flavors that helps complement every topping that we have for each one of our pizzas. We call it Neo Neapolitan, but it's not really Neo Neapolitan. It's a pizza that I used to do with my family when I was a kid, right? You want to create a crust that is sturdy enough, even if it's cooked at a very high temperature in a wood fire oven, that 
takes uh, all the ingredients, right? You don't want to see uh, the, 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 the slice, you know, uh, falling on you and then you have to just eat up the ingredient from the from the plate. So I just like a slice that holds. We have a few processes in making the pizza. We obviously have our wood fire pizza that we travel around town making it at pop-ups and catering events. But in the shop, we start with whole wheat berries. We mill them in house. All of our pizza is sourdough. So make the dough, it ferments for 48 hours. Then we cook it in our oven and uh, the rest is history. I'm, I'm so bad at this. No, it's great. No, I'm really, I like, I'm like <laughs> psychotically competitive. <laughs> I, I know some of them and we often exchange messages. You always have questions like, how do you achieve that? How, you do, you, uh, how do you do the perfect crust? Oh, why your undercarriage is more crispy? What do you do with your oven? So I think this change of things makes you want to do a better job. But I will say that Starting this during COVID and being a pop-up, it was humbling and it was a beautiful experience to be able to see other people going through the same thing that I was going through. And all of us coming together in any way, shape or form to help each other created this sense of community where there is a bigger picture than being the best. I think we're in the top three. Uh, Los Angeles has one of the best growing um, pizza scenes in America right now. We have local source produce. We have a lot more creative chefs out here now that are really driven to build up this industry. The great thing about LA is that there is this open-mindedness. There is this sense of creativity and bringing something new to the table. That's encouraged. All right, look, it's not about the best pizza in the United States or the world. I think LA's pizza is LA pizza. New York, we get it. For me, there is no concept as a best pizza. They, 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 it cannot be, because pizza is so personal. The, what's the reason why you make pizza? You want to make pizza because you, you want to make people happy. That was my goal. Best way I can define the LA pizza scene, there's no limits. There's no deep-rooted history in LA with pizza compared to like New York and elsewhere. So we have a lot more uh, creative freedoms with toppings, approach with dough styles. You can pick up pizzas which have influences from all over the world. One of its positives is that it's not limited. And that's the beauty, right? Because you have different styles and you get to talk to all these amazing people, go back, and uh, you have my pizza, I have your pizza, and we discuss about it. Yes, we fight sometimes too, but you know, at the end of the day, it's for a good cause. There is no real barrier of entry. I think everyone has access to great ingredients. Everyone has great access to information. And I think everyone has access to pretty amazing pizza ovens. And so the sky's the limit, really, I mean, and in a place like LA, it's, it's bound to burst. I think the pizza scene in LA is just getting better and better. There's something that caters for everybody. I feel that next step for Los Angeles is going to be recognized as even more as one of the best pizza city in the, in the country. LA people are awesome, and I think every artisan behind a small piece of dough telling their story it's awesome.